Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim, welcome back to my channel. We're going to explore uh, software defined radio a little bit more. For that reason, I'm using Dragon Focal OX, uh, OS. Uh, uh, Dragon OS is a very beautiful distribution that allows, it already has all the software defined radio tools pre compiled, so you don't have to worry about compiling it. It's sort of like a Linux distribution that has all the tools available uh, for software defined radio. So, the tool that we're going to explore today is called Sparrow Wi Fi. In order for me to explore this tool, I have my HackRF, which is connected to my laptop. I am running Dragon OS uh, using a live SSD drive. So I'm just going to simply go in and I'm going to go to my system tools. I think I'm going to go to my uh, other and then from here I'm going to select Sparrow Wi-Fi. So Sparrow Wi-Fi allows me, what it allows me to do actually, it allows me to actually visualize or try to look into my Wi-Fi signals and my Bluetooth signals. So in order for me to do that, the first thing I'll do is this. I have my Sparrow Wi-Fi running. I'm just going to simply go to LS. Make sure your HackRF is connected. The next step you need to do, just simply run Sparrow Wi-Fi Pi. This, 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 this file. That's all you need to run. What it does, it will automatically take HackRF into account and it will display the spectrum. So just simply run it, sudo. You don't need to write sudo, but I'm just writing it anyhow. Sudo python python3 and uh, sparrow tag wifi dot pi and let's enter as soon as you hit enter this is the screen that you will see this is the local interface this is the nick uh, local interface or your nick all right so let's hit a scan and let's try to scan everything let's see what type of okay here we go so I have my laptop, I also have my phone, which is also running, uh, associated with different APs which are available. These are the MAC addresses of all the APs which are available. These are the associated uh, SSIDs. Uh, so at least I'm seeing how many base stations, at least nine different base stations, which are located in a dif with different names, with different security levels, different type of bandwidths and things like that. Uh, so the default bandwidth at, uh, and with signal strength and frequency and what are the channel allocation for those frequencies. You can also clearly see this at the bottom of this graph as well and then you can go to spectrum and you can just if you want to look at a spectrum in terms of this as you can see so this is this phone which is actually my phone uh, is close to my uh, laptop that's why you're seeing a, a better signal strength as compared to the other uh, so uh, other SSIDs which are available in the area. As you can clearly see, I'm getting a better signal strength as compared to the other ones, uh, other uh, 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 APs which are available in the vicinity. Uh, the other thing that you can do is also this. You can also scan Bluetooth as well. So just simply go here and go to Bluetooth discovery uh, and just, just simply hit scan. It will start scanning all the Bluetooth devices which are available in the vicinity as well. Uh, that includes your smart watches and things like that and of course there are associated MAC addresses I'm not just gonna leave them as is what is the estimated range what type of an RSI see um, uh, uh, sorry uh, signal strength uh, and things like that if the device name is available the device will be there if the product name is available the product name will appear over here so that allows me to actually look at it and you can also do this you can also look at the GPS as well uh, if you have your GPS antenna which might be connected, you will see this to be blue, uh, green. In this way you can also look at the ba uh, basic idea regarding the location of, uh, of these uh, devices. Uh, there is also another mode in this which is really amazing. Uh, you can go to Falcon, you can go to Falcon tab and go to advanced scan. I will create monitoring interface and I'm just going to go click yes. Okay. Once I hit yes. Now it would do that I was connected to my uh, my internet. Now my internet is gone. It's going to start scanning. What this scan would give me is something really amazing. It will give me all the networks which are available. All the networks. Uh, so these the first the first uh, table that you're seeing is actually all the network uh, access point which are available. And what are the devices? their MAC addresses are going to which are associated with these individual MAC addresses so that's that's quite amazing so for example uh, uh, for example let's see not my device all the other devices what my hack RF is scanning 
So for example, I have uh, an SSID, let's call it um, this, uh, let's call it uh, internet. So if I were to just quickly look at it, it's 68. The internet SSID having 68, the last is F468. Now let's look at it. So internet, so this, this is internet and F468 there are two devices at least what my hack RF is scanning at least one two three four four devices are connected what are the four devices which are connected so the associated MAC numbers are there just to highlight it E2 there's a MAC address there there's this MAC address that device so your network is called uh, it has an SSID name internet and that internet you will see are the MAC address of this and what are the devices that my hack RF is scanning which are connected to that so, so so device number one so at least I have one two and I have three four five at least I have five different devices and I have Mac I already have a knowledge of their MAC addresses as well so so this is another way you can explore this. Um, uh, you can explore Sparrow, Sparrow Wi-Fi that allows you to actually look at your signals and try to find out what type of a network, what type of a signal strength, what type of a devices which are available in your network and then accordingly you can uh, do signal analysis and other things like that. So if you have any questions, uh, leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.